Okay, so this video um, came from one of my old employers. Um, so um, what they've asked is if we can get frame segment lengths from reports. Um, so currently, if we go to our parts list on there um, and we go to our options, we can see we've only got these options. Um, we can go into our custom file and we'll see what numbers and stuff, but um, don't know what any of those mean. And really, we need like cut length and total cut length or something along those, along those lines. So um, rather than going in there, what the um, what my recommended method is going to be is to create a quick sheet. So a quick sheet is a drawing template option that allows us to go and create a quick template. So what we're going to do from here, um, we're going to go and create a, um, a drawing from this model. So we can use whichever our famous, uh, whichever our favourite way is drawing a vector model to make sure we're suitable for older versions of Solid Edge. Choose our standard template. And what we want to do is just create a, a single view. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to go to my, um, my, my my views. Let's just go and create those. I just want that one. So I'm going to uh, get rid of the other views on there. Um, that one's a bit strange. So I'm just going to go and um, set my configuration to make sure that this is the one that I'm actually looking at on here. So we've got our analysis on that. I update that. I've got gray borders because I've got that open. So that's looking better on that. Um, it doesn't look very nice either, so I'm just going to turn my tangent styles on. Okay, so there we've got that. So next, uh, we're going to go to our parts list option. So um, we can click on our view. And then we can go and choose our parts list. I've got save settings but on this one. Um, I'm going to just go and have a look and let's see which one we've got. So here I've got a couple of different ones to do with tubes. So I've got a table tubes and a table total length. So that table total total tubes we've got. Uh, that's not the right one. Um, table in tube, including tube tube cut maybe. Let's have a look at that one. So we've got our part number, quantity, length. So that's okay for that one. So let's go and place that one. I'm going to go and place that there. So that's our first item. Obviously, there's no part numbers, descriptions in there, but we've got our lengths on there. And then we're going to create a second one. So we're going to unlink that. And then we're going to click on the view again. And this time, we're going to go and choose that. And then we're going to go in here and go and choose that other option that I've just shown on there. So um, you can stop that when you come to here. So columns, we've got this one, we've got total length on here. And then there's probably an additional setting option that we've got on here um, to create total length parts list in the options dialog box. Um, okay, so just pause that to wherever you need to make sure you get the information. And then I'm gonna go, so for that one, I'm actually gonna go and create this off the drawing sheet. So if this one gets bigger, it's not gonna go over this one. So that's got our different parts and it's got our total length for each of those items. Um, obviously, if some of these have got chamfers on, they're gonna have the little um, quotation marks around the, the little brackets around them showing that that's taken into account the, the, um, the mitres as well on those. Okay, now we've got that, we've got our view. So what we can do now is go to our application menu and we can go to our settings dialog box on here and we can create our new quick sheet template. So on here, so this isn't a file that we're going to use. We only use this to create the template. Do not do this with a current active working file that, um, that you've done lots of work on. So we've then got our template. We can then go and save this into our templates, into our templates location. So for mine, um, I've got it in a, in a, in a shared folder somewhere. So I'm just going to go and pop that into my Solid Edge um, folder uh, on PLM. And then I've got my options on there. So I've got my test one there. I'm going to call that um, frame cuts on there. And then we've got that as a um, save on there. Okay, so now if I go and close that draft, I've got this file open, so I want to know what the frame sizes are. Now I've got this. So if I do a, um, a new item, go to my templates. So I've got my frame cuts file on there. So make sure that's in our server location with all of our other templates. 
We could also go and pop it into another folder in here. Go and go and create a folder, and then we'd be about to see that folder in here. So we obviously got PD PDF presentation, other kind of um, options. So you could go if you don't want to if you don't want to mess up your normal templates, just go and do that. Okay, so um, let's do that again. New frame cuts. Okay, that's our file. We've got our file open um, in there. So if we go over to our library on here and choose open documents from the drop down, we've then got our frame analysis. We can go and drag that in, and that's then going to populate, and we've then got our information. We can then go right click, copy contents, right click, copy contents, and get that information directly from those. And then we can either save this as a reference file or we can get rid of it. So you can see almost as quick as doing reports, um, but it allows us to fully customize it and rename everything. So it does actually offer a lot more than we get just with reports. Okay, hopefully that's useful. Thank you.